Welcome back everyone. This is Vicki at Messy Table Studio and this is the third and final signature of my vintage image book that's using almost all copyright free images from Flickr under the Commons moniker. Alright, so this last one is going to be kind of small and this one should not take as long as the others did. Again with the deli paper and a napkin, just like the napkin, put it on there. I didn't do anything on this side. Maybe I will later. This was a yellow paper, so I wanted to kind of have yellow and orange theme. Again, there are flowers. And I found yellow uh, scrapbook paper that I wanted to use. And I had a sticker of images that I run through the Xyron machine. And then I used the punch on it, and it made a round sticker. I just put that on there. Then I found some napkins that I really like. Fall I like fall colors. Well, I don't have a lot of that around here in Texas, where I live in Texas, so mostly our fall colors is brown. <laughs> so I found these parrot, um, these are parrot tulips, and I really like them, and I did the napkin and cut the flowers apart. The, this part is all one section of the napkin, and this is a repeat of this one, and this one's a repeat of this one, and cut them apart and kind of try to arrange them on the page so it fills up the whole page. This is a napkin that is unfolded, and this is two sections, one half of one of those little cocktail napkins, and I put the whole thing on there, just because I could. No tab. This is my lavender slash purple violet page. <laughs> These are magazine images that I cut out of a seed catalog, and... This is a small version of this right here that I used for the tab. This was just leftover purple jelly print paper that I put in here as an accent. Uh, I think it might have been cut off somewhere off of this piece here. I'm not sure. Then I printed off this parrot tulips picture, which is that kind of tulip there. And I found that on the commons. I guess it's from a catalog. This is from 1897. It's from by J.L. Childs. And it's, I think this is from a uh, seed catalog. Next is my mixed bouquet page where I found lots of flowers that I like, but they were not like a specific color theme sort of thing. This is leftover paper from this. And I just printed off mixed bouquets that I really liked. This is, um, again, a napkin of sorts. And it's very thin strips. And so I took the two strips off and separated the paper off of them, the backing, and put them on here. Then this is my artwork. And I, I think this was a little much for this book, but I'd already gone to the, the point of no return. <laughs> so I put more. So this is a little scrap tablet with a little belly band here, and it's just leftover strips of copy dyed paper. I took some, um, I think this is scrapbook paper or a drop paper, and just cut a very thin strip, folded it over the, sewed it, and glued it over where I sewed the ends, these together at the top here. Underneath there is zigzag sewing. You kind of see the thread right here. And then I just put that over it and glued it, and it hid the sewing. Then I took one, one. I didn't want to put a backing on it, so I just took this and slipped it in here. Figured that's good enough. This is a pocket where I could put something, but it's kind of tough getting it in and out. I don't want to rip the paper, so I just left it empty for now. This is leftover paper from this. Just glued the whole sheet on. No tab. This is dedicated to sunflowers. This is part of one of the other ones that I did on another page. And I found the black and white sunflowers on the commons. This is a piece of um, jelly printed paper where I took the um, sunflower stencil from Carla at What If NC and used it as the background. And then I glued this larger picture on there. This right here is a picture of another sunflower. Actually, it's this one right here I made large, and then I cut it down and used it for the tab. Another mixed bouquet picture I had leftovers, and this was on this page, so I thought, oh, what the hey, let's just put it all on that side. So I did. 
tab doesn't exactly go with it. It's got yellow, so I figured yellow and pink, eh, good enough. I have a fascination with pocket watches. My grandfather had one when I was a little kid, and I always loved to watch him look at, see what time it was. I think my brother might have it. I'm not sure where it is. And these just came off of the commons, and this is coffee dyed paper that was lo in long strips. I made the ruffle. I, I stamped it with a um, music sheet, a music stamp, and then did the ruffles and sewed it on there, then glued the ruffle onto the side of the page, and that's what uh, the tab is made of. It has nothing to do with this, but I figured it was black and white. That works. This is typewriters. I like seeing old antique typewriters, and it's so funny to me that people are enthralled or you know, what's old is new again, and people are all tickle pink with the manual typewriters. We all learned how to type on as kids. That hunt and peck typing was terrible on your fingernails. And I was so glad when they came out with the IBM Selectric. It was, you know, uh, it was great. These things are like, <coughs> <coughs> they were hard to um, type with. Sorry. Sorry, the dog heard me going, eh, eh, and he started barking, thinks that one's wrong. Anyway, so while I was doing all this, I don't know, I lost my mind, and I glued a camera on here. <laughs> this is part of a, another keyboard picture that's part of this one, and so I cut off some of it, made it skinny, and it works for my tab for, the, for this page. I love these old typewriters. They are very cool. This is pink because of the pink dyed, so I just found napkins and I glued them on there. This is a stencil from What If NC on a leftover strip of tea dyed paper. This is part of this napkin. I had a little strip left over, put it on a piece of used cardstock, sewed it. It's the tab. I found pink images of flowers. I, I found the blue ones, and then here are the pink ones. I was surprised. So I had to cut and paste these. I had to do it. And I used a skinny version of flowers on here for my um, tab. And this is leftover pink cardstock. I love the way these look. Just love them. Since I had pink on that, I took a large piece of vellum. I did put this with the tape runner on here because gluing vellum is a bit tricky. Even if you have an image, sometimes you can see through it and it looks unsightly. So I did use the tape runner on this. This is part of one of the pockets I did on another page. This one again is empty. I don't have anything in it. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just leave it there. I don't know. Just miscellaneous small piece of pink cardstock, nothing on it. This is my orange page for orange flowers. These are daylilies and roses and orchids. And this is just a smaller version of an orchid plant. And that's my tab on leftover orange cardstock. These again are part of the orange and red sort of theme here. This is my stencil of the miscellaneous flowers here done on top of jelly printed book text. And it was very powerful to look at all that. It was very busy, so I took this and glued it on here to kind of tone it down a little bit. And this is this made small and it makes my tab. More black and white flowers, more of the leftover stuff stamped with the music notes and sewn with zigzag down to make the ruffle. Again, that came from Natasha at Treasure Books. I don't know. Somebody gave me these chickens. I cannot remember who it is who gifted them to me, but I love them. But the only problem is there was only enough to do 11 months. I have a feeling these came off of the back of a calendar somewhere or something. So instead of worrying about what to put in the 12th one, I got this off of the commons and then just put these um, vintage looking chickens. Now this was a hen who was further down because it was a long strip. So I just cut out some of her chickies and scooted her in and glued her there. They were not that close in the picture I got off of the commons. Carla has a, um, a stencil that has chicken feet, dog paws, and 
Ooh, what's the other one? Raccoon feet, I think. So I just stenciled the little chicken feet through here on the gaps in here. I just stenciled the little chicken feet. I thought that was kind of funny. Oh, sorry about the glare. But these are really beautiful. And they're very cardstock. They're heavy duty. This is strictly about the color and filling up pages quickly because this is where I was starting to lose it towards the end of the journal. I had like six pages with um, uh, marks on them saying, needs a tab, needs a photo. And I was like, oh my God, six pages left. I'm so over it. So I was gifted a tablet of Japanese writing paper and I really thought it was very pretty and it was white. So I coffee dyed it. This was at the bottom of the paper. This is the bottom of the writing paper. So after I coffee dyed it, I took a jelly roll pen and I outlined all the images on here and turned it sideways so it would fit in the book. This is a napkin and there's no image. It's just purple, purple um, jelly print paper that was from back here where I filled in the, the strip of purple. That's what this is left over from. These are purple, lavender sort of themed images of flowers. And this is a image of some kind of a flower made small so I could use it for a tab on purple cardstock that again is a leftover. This is, all of this is because of this right here. I was gifted, I think there's either two or three sizes of these masks that are um, cactus in pots. So I took it and did the, you know, this sort of thing on it with this. It's the Walnut Stain Distress Ink and did them on there. And I was like, okay, now I have to have cactus as a theme. So I went through and looked at the commons and I found vintage pictures of cactus that were color. This came out of a magazine. I could not resist using it because of this and then the little pots. So these came off the commons. This is a small down version of a cactus. So I could use it for my tab. This is another one. And I had dark green jelly print paper. So I went ahead and ripped it and there's sewed around it. And these are both, these are both pockets. This is just a card I had that matched the green along with the green theme. It's a journal card. And then it has, um, a charm in it and then I was gifted the uh, eyelet so I used it and I was I think I was also gifted this circle ribbon too so I made a journal card out of it and I thought well that's perfect it fits in it's green <laughs> this is yellow flowers that I didn't have room for on another page so I went ahead and finished this these are those scraps that I sewed together in strips and cut them off periodically. This is the sawtooth um, zigzag. This is the deli paper that I told you is the first and last page of all three of the signatures. I like sunflowers. I've had this sunflower image. Um, I bought it off of Etsy probably 10 years ago and I have the files still of the sunflowers that are printed on or painted on book text and I just photocopied them onto brown cardstock and put paper behind them. This is real cotton sheet that was dyed yellow. And then I had a little bumblebee shank button and I cut the shank off, glued that on there. You know, it's a mishmash. And here is that beautiful, beautiful sunflower. I saw it on a book the other day. Uh, who saw Roxy's Creations. It was on her site. She had a book and it had this pic. Was it her? I think it was her and she had this book like about this size or a little bit bigger that had this exact thing on the front of it. I was like, oh, I've seen that somewhere before. So I ran over and looked at this. And I went, oh, this is it. It's a napkin. Then I had this. Played around with it. Put it in here. This was the brown tag I had made. And this is a uh, brown cardstock that I just printed stuff on. I didn't sew any of this. And that, my friends, is the end of the book. So that's all three of the signatures in the book. 
and it is done and it's going to be retired to a shelf where it will gather dust for the next 20 years until I pass away and then my kids throw it in the trash. <laughs> or they sell it for a quarter at a yard sale. I will be rolling over in my grave. All right, thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. I knew that this was too long of a video to do in one sitting, so I had to break it up to three sections. I hope you enjoyed them all and watch every one of them so you see the whole book. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And no, I am not monetized. So any of the commercials or ads you see are not of my doing. That is YouTube doing that. I am not monetized. So... Please endure. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody.